Hi Tim, Goji Man here. Um, so it's now just nearly one o'clock in the morning um, and I've just been watching your video about the issues you've been having and I was absolutely gutted for you watching it. So you said in your video, if anyone has any advice then to, um, to give you a shout or let you know. So sorry I haven't recorded a video for this. I'm knee deep in uni work at the moment and haven't got time to film anything, but I just wanted to reach out to you to see if I could help in any way, shape or form. So a bit about my background, as you probably won't have come across me before. So I lost both parents and a sister to chronic diseases, and I found veganism via fork over knives and took control back of my health. And then five years ago, I took an antibiotic and it literally destroyed my life. It turned out that I have a genetic problem with my cytochrome P450 enzymes, in that I can't metabolize drugs in the same way as most normal people. So they build up in my body and become toxic and the impact of those antibiotics I'm still feeling five years on but I'm very close to regaining my health again. So at my worst I would sleep for 16 hours a day, severe regular heartbeats, widespread food intolerances, I was down to two foods a day for two years, massive digestive problems, my life was an absolute mess. That left me in the same situation as you find yourself in now. I didn't know which way to turn. It felt like I was literally dying and I was on the verge of giving up veganism and going carnivore because of all the different stories I was hearing about the carnivore diet. So before I jumped into the carnivore diet, I just wanted to make sure that I had ruled out everything in terms of health conditions that could be causing my issues. Now, like you, I was very skeptical of the medical industry. My mother at her time of death was on over 20 different medications a day. So I carry a lot of animosity towards that profession to this day. So I did a lot of testing and most of it showed very little, but I found three tests that turned everything around for me. The small intestinal bacterial overgrowth test, the organic acids test, and also the comprehensive stool test. Now these names probably mean very little to you, but these tests give an unbelievable detailed insight into the guts, the immune system, bacterial problems, cellular function, and lots of useful information in which you can make informed decisions on. They were literally a lifesaver for me. For me, they showed I had small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which caused massive digestive issues from bloating, constipation, diarrhea, and food intolerances. They also revealed I had lots of other issues from stored oxalates in my body, salicylate problems, histamine issues, Basically, my guts was an absolute mess. So once I knew all of this, I could start making informed decisions because I knew what the actual problem was. So after going through all of this, I decided I want to help others and embark on a career in nutrition. So I'm just finishing a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year I'm doing a PhD in the microbiome and its impacts on health. Now I've been following your story for a while and was wondering if we could have a quick chat so I could share some information with you. If you're not interested, no worries. I wish you all the best for the future and thank you for everything you've done for veganism. If you are interested in talking, I would be keen to do these three tests on you. You can do them at home. It's literally just a stool sample, urine sample and a breath sample. And then these go off to a lab to be analyzed. Then within two to three weeks, all of the results come back in and it reveals what problems, if any, are causing you to have so many issues with fruits and vegetables and digestion. I'm more than happy to cover the cost of these tests for you, so there will be no cost to you whatsoever. There is currently a tipping point at the moment where a number of vegans such as yourself are having massive issues and I would love for the opportunity to show that it is likely to be the underlying gut problems that are causing your issues and it's not the fruits and vegetables that are bad. And quite simply, when you fix the underlying gut issues, you can normally go back to a very plant-based diet with no issues. Anyhow, I've talked way too much. I will simply leave it with you. Just really want to say that we all appreciate you, my friend, for what you've done for veganism. You've got nothing to apologize for, and I hope whatever direction you head in, you find some peace and comfort. Stay safe, buddy. Speak with clarity. Cause there's too much noise around